we've got the, the first car that is specifically built for uh, uh, unsupervised for self-driving to, to be a robotaxi. It's called a cybercab. Our electric vehicles, especially self-driving robotaxis, still as useful as promised when the power goes out? That question has become one of the most widely discussed topics recently, as the public witnessed a serious incident involving Waymo's self-driving taxis one night in San Francisco. When a power outage crippled traffic lights across the city, these vehicles completely shut down and became inoperable. Meanwhile, just across the street, Tesla Robotaxis running on fully autonomous, unsupervised, full self, driving continued moving as if nothing had happened. There were no malfunctions. They navigated the chaos with confidence, treating the situation as a minor inconvenience rather than a crisis. It sounds crazy, but it's exactly what's happening in reality. According to Elon Musk's recent confirmation, Tesla's Robotaxis are training their artificial intelligence on billions of miles of real-world driving rather than coddling it inside simulations padded with perfect data and idealized assumptions. The very approach Waymo is betting on with heavy reliance on maps and rigid order. And it doesn't stop there. Reports also confirm that Tesla's new RoboTaxi CyberCab has already received at least six major updates ahead of its large-scale launch scheduled for April next year. Elon Musk is confident that this vehicle will soon appear in cities across the United States and that people everywhere will be eager to experience it. So, how impressive is the Tesla RoboTaxi CyberCab really? And what new progress has Tesla made with its RoboTaxi program? Welcome to Tesla Car World. As we know, Tesla and Waymo are the two primary contributors to the development of autonomous vehicles in the United States, and both are currently operating driverless ride-hailing services in the country. However, based on real-world operational performance, comparing Waymo's LiDAR-based system to a blind person and Tesla's FSD to a telescope is hardly an exaggeration. Indeed, Waymo's heavy reliance on rigid rules and high-definition maps creates instability when unexpected conditions arise. In addition, its robo-taxi system is not truly autonomous, as it depends heavily on an internet connection. By contrast, Tesla's real-world data-driven approach handles chaotic situations far more effectively. With massive real-world investment poured into innovative design and rigorous product testing, Tesla has demonstrated how American products should be built. Tesla's full self-driving system is the right path forward. Other companies may try, but they will never reach Tesla's level of autonomous driving capability. A few months ago, Tesla deployed its safety monitoring system in Austin. Since then, Nearly 2,000 unsupervised robo-taxi trips have been completed across Austin. The Bay Area, California, including Palo Alto and Fremont. Florida cities such as Miami, Tampa, and Claremont. Houston and Farmers Branch, Texas, and Brooklyn, New York. Upcoming expansion plans include Las Vegas, Nevada, Phoenix, Arizona, including Tempe, Gilbert, and Scottsdale. Dallas, Texas, Houston, and Miami. Other locations, such as Enola, Pennsylvania, and Frisco, Texas, have also reported validation vehicles. In addition, cybercab testing is accelerating across multiple states, paving the way for mass production targeted for April 2026. Previously, Tesla positioned safety personnel in the front passenger seat on city streets while they moved to the driver's seat when traveling on highways. In ride-hailing services around the San Francisco Bay Area, a safety supervisor was always seated in the driver's seat, However, supervision has now largely come to an end, and unsupervised Tesla robotaxis are appearing with increasing frequency, confidently integrating into real-world traffic. Elon Musk has also made another bold statement, saying, Waymo never really had a chance to compete with Tesla. This will become clear in hindsight. He made this comment on X in response to someone pointing out that Tesla has not yet logged as many passenger-only autonomous miles as Waymo. Waymo's safety data also appears more compelling than Tesla's. However, while Waymo focuses its business on major cities, Tesla claims it will expand its self-driving technology to every vehicle in every location worldwide. This is the true distinction between the two companies, along with the fact that Tesla uses vehicles it manufactures itself, whereas Waymo relies on a fleet made up of models from multiple automakers. They also hold fundamentally different views on how to solve the autonomous driving problem. Tesla takes a vision-only approach, while Waymo depends on a suite of sensors, including LiDAR, which Elon Musk has described as useless, inefficient, and outdated. Estimates suggest that by the end of this year, 
Tesla's self-driving taxi fleet will consist of only about 50 vehicles, a mix of Model Y and Cybercab, operating across an area of more than 250 square miles. But make no mistake, if the company wanted to, it could deploy 50,000 robo-taxis on the streets of Austin as early as next year. The only thing holding Tesla back is the requirement for a safety supervisor seated in the passenger seat. As long as the human factor remains, scaling up becomes almost meaningless. The more vehicles Tesla deploys, the more safety drivers it must hire, train, and pay, for a role the company is trying to eliminate as quickly as possible. Clearly, that approach makes little sense. But once the safety driver is removed from the equation, everything opens up. Every Tesla produced over the past two years is already capable of full self-driving. In Austin, Tesla is rolling a new vehicle off the line roughly every 30 seconds, so the current numbers only look unimpressive if you take a short-term view. With CyberCab, Elon Musk is even confident that the vehicle can be assembled in just five seconds. Yes, it sounds crazy, but according to Musk, it is entirely achievable. Currently, in the San Francisco Bay Area alone, Tesla has expanded its robo-taxi fleet to 1,655 vehicles, up from just 28 vehicles in August. The company is hiring factory workers to serve as AI operators amid regulatory hurdles and growing competition from Waymo. This move signals meaningful progress toward the large-scale deployment of fully driverless robotaxis in the first quarter, 2026. This growth underscores Elon Musk's vision of a driverless future, even as regulatory barriers and technical challenges continue to persist. Internal sources indicate that Tesla's initial strategy involves repurposing existing vehicle models, primarily the Model Y, for the robo-taxi fleet. After undergoing extensive testing, these learnings will be fully applied to the Tesla CyberCab, ensuring the cost structure meets consumer affordability requirements. According to Sawyer Merritt, Tesla has officially registered its robo-taxi vehicles in California as part of its autonomous driving initiative, with deployment targeted for late 2025. This move marks a significant milestone in the real-world rollout of AI-powered robo-taxis, intensifying competition in the autonomous vehicle market while opening new business opportunities across mobility services, fleet management, and AI-driven transportation. Registering these vehicles also signals Tesla's confidence in its full self-driving technology and its readiness to scale commercial robo-taxi operations within a tightly regulated environment. Against the backdrop of Waymo temporarily suspending service in San Francisco due to power outage-related disruptions, Tesla claims its system remained unaffected. Elon Musk publicly stated on X that Tesla vehicles continued operating normally throughout the outage. This resilience could give Tesla a meaningful advantage in disruption-prone urban environments. Tesla aims to log millions of miles to further refine its artificial intelligence. According to California DMV records shared on X, the company has already driven more than 300,000 miles in California without a single recorded collision. How would you feel about sitting in a car with no driver, just you and your luggage? Tesla has confirmed that the defining feature of this vehicle is the absence of a steering wheel and traditional pedals, underscoring its fully autonomous nature. As seen in several leaked robo-taxi robo -taxi prototypes, the interior is expected to feature only two seats, with most of the rear space dedicated to luggage. Another design element worth highlighting is that Tesla's robo-taxi will not have conventional doors. Instead, it will use butterfly-style doors that open upward rather than outward. This means that when the vehicle arrives to pick you up, the doors will automatically lift to allow passengers to enter, an undeniably futuristic touch. In our view, Tesla's robo-taxi is likely to be an exceptionally durable vehicle, as it is expected to feature a stainless steel frame or similarly robust materials. While sources have not yet disclosed detailed specifications, it is clear that durability and longevity are top priorities, given that the vehicle will operate continuously. Tesla has always placed a strong emphasis on passenger comfort, so the robo-taxi will likely receive significant investment in its interior, even though it offers only two seats and lacks many features found in traditional cars. In the past, Tesla has shared glimpses of the interior through videos, highlighting a focus on comfort and convenience for passengers, particularly in ride-sharing scenarios where traditional driving controls are completely absent. But what is the maximum driving range of the Tesla Robotaxi CyberCab? The Tesla Robotaxi will not require a large battery pack. Around 50 kilowatt hours is considered ideal, and it could even be smaller. The vehicle is primarily designed for urban passenger pickup and drop-off, 
where long-distance travel is not a key concern. What matters most is the ability to transport passengers efficiently from one point to another. A range of approximately 200 to 250 miles is more than sufficient for the daily operational needs of a robotaxi. The aerodynamic design of the Tesla robotaxi, combined with its lighter weight, thanks to the absence of luxury features typically found in personal vehicles, will optimize driving range without the need for a large battery pack. This combination will deliver significant energy savings, especially in urban and residential environments. With its advanced self-driving software, the Tesla Robotaxi will be capable of rapid acceleration, a natural advantage of electric motors. However, its top speed will be limited to ensure safety and compliance with traffic regulations. This not only protects passengers, but also extends battery life by minimizing unnecessary energy waste. Overall, a smaller battery pack also reduces manufacturing costs, allowing the Tesla Robotaxi to scale quickly across Tesla's fleet. Beyond driving range, many people are also curious about the charging capabilities of the Tesla Robotaxi, and we're willing to bet that it will charge very fast. Previously, Tesla's automated charging application, SS, was revealed ahead of the company's Robotaxi launch event. This indicates that the vehicle will not require Tesla staff to plug it in and will be able to charge itself autonomously. This makes perfect sense. If the vehicle is designed to operate without any human intervention to emphasize its fully autonomous nature, then it is only logical that Tesla's robo-taxi would also be capable of handling its own charging. Because the driving range is relatively modest, fast charging is absolutely critical. Tesla already has ultra-fast battery charging technology from Cattle, capable of fully charging a battery in just 10 to 15 minutes. So it's clear that these vehicles will charge extremely quickly. If the robo-taxi uses wireless charging, it would be able to drive itself into a garage or facility equipped with wireless charging pads embedded in the floor, as long as the vehicle is fitted with an induction coil. This would completely eliminate the need for a human to plug in the vehicle. Musk has also mentioned the possibility of allowing Tesla owners to use their vehicles as robotaxis when they're not in use. Within a year, or even as soon as six months, Tesla plans to outline a program that would allow private Tesla owners to join the CyberCab network. Under this model, Tesla would retain 30% of the revenue, while 70% would go to the vehicle owner. What trade-offs do we have to make when using a service like Tesla Robotaxi? From a functional standpoint, the Robotaxi is rumored to be a compact, two-seat vehicle tailored specifically for urban mobility. Its smaller footprint would allow it to maneuver easily through congested city streets while maximizing energy efficiency. One of the most striking features of this vehicle is the complete removal of traditional driving controls. There will be no steering wheel accelerator or brake pedals. An unmistakable signal that Tesla intends this vehicle to operate exclusively under full autonomous control. According to Musk, the robotaxi is being designed from the ground up for self-driving, eliminating the need for human intervention entirely. This approach represents a major milestone in the evolution of autonomous transportation. Tesla has stated that the robotaxi will be built on its next-generation vehicle platform, which aims to dramatically reduce manufacturing costs. However, the company has also revealed that it will combine existing technologies with newer innovations during development. This hybrid strategy indicates Tesla's desire to accelerate deployment while maintaining affordability and reliability. By leveraging proven systems alongside next-generation hardware and software, Tesla hopes to bring the robo-taxi to market faster without compromising performance or safety. Recent social media footage has fueled speculation about the Robotaxi's final design. Several videos shared on Platform X appear to show a camouflaged prototype, hinting at a blend of visual cues borrowed from both the Model 3 and the Cybertruck. This combination suggests a vehicle that merges sleek performance characteristics with rugged durability. Observers believe Tesla is aiming to create a distinctive identity that separates the Robotaxi from traditional sedans while retaining the familiarity of its existing lineup. The prototype reportedly features a bright yellow exterior and a two-door configuration, reinforcing the idea that it is optimized for short-distance urban trips. Despite heavy camouflage, certain design elements stand out. The headlights resemble those of the Model 3, while the rear includes a full-width LED light bar reminiscent of the Cybertruck. Another intriguing detail is the apparent difference in wheel size, with larger wheels at the rear than the front. 
This could be a deliberate engineering choice to improve traction, balance, or overall stability during autonomous operation. One of the most compelling aspects of Tesla's robo-taxi, often referred to as the cybercab, is its potential to drastically reduce transportation costs. Elon Musk has suggested that fares could be significantly cheaper than those of existing ride-hailing services such as Uber or Lyft. Some projections estimate operating costs as low as 18 cents per mile, a fraction of the $1.50 to $2.50 per mile typically charged by human-driven services. The elimination of drivers alone could cut expenses by more than half, as labor represents a substantial portion of ride-hailing costs. Beyond pricing, Tesla emphasizes reducing the total cost of ownership for its vehicles. Electric cars already benefit from lower maintenance and fuel expenses compared to internal combustion vehicles, and the cybercab is expected to amplify these advantages. While gasoline taxis may spend roughly 12 cents per mile on fuel, the cybercab's energy costs are estimated to fall between 3 cents and 5 cents per mile. These savings benefit both Tesla's operating margins and consumers seeking affordable transportation. To further enhance accessibility, Tesla is reportedly exploring a subscription-based pricing model. Under this system, users could pay a flat monthly fee for unlimited rides within designated areas. Industry speculation suggests this subscription could cost around $200 per month in urban regions, offering a predictable and budget-friendly alternative to traditional ride-hailing services. The CyberCab is expected to incorporate Tesla's most advanced sensor suite, including multiple external cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and radar. These components feed data into Tesla's neural network, enabling the vehicle to interpret complex driving environments with remarkable precision. In emergency situations, the CyberCab can autonomously pull over, alert emergency services, and protect passengers without requiring human input. Tesla's track record for safety ratings further reinforces confidence in the CyberCab. Models such as the Model 3 and Model Y have earned top safety scores from both U.S. and European regulators. The RoboTaxi is expected to meet or exceed these standards. Over-the-air software updates play a crucial role here, allowing Tesla to continuously improve safety features without physical recalls. Unlike human-driven taxis, CyberCabs can operate continuously without rest, offering round-the-clock service. Early trials indicate average wait times of just five to seven minutes, matching or outperforming existing ride-hailing platforms. Tesla's AI-driven fleet management system optimizes routing and vehicle distribution in real time, targeting utilization rates as high as 90%. The autonomous fleet also has the potential to expand service coverage into suburban areas that are often underserved by traditional taxis. Ride pooling capabilities will further increase efficiency by grouping passengers with similar routes reducing congestion, and improving overall traffic flow. So can a car without a steering wheel really be trusted in busy city traffic? And what happens if the autonomous system fails in a critical moment? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.